That is true, actually, yeah. I never thought of it that way, to be honest. If yeah. I didn't sit down today, I could go months and months or years, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't realise. So when you go away, you've got decisions to make, don't you, really? Yeah. Because now you know, kind of thing. No, I know. Do you think animals deserve rights? Oh, my God, yes. Oh, yeah. What about cows? Oh, All animals. If they had rights, we wouldn't be able to kill them and eat them. So do you agree with that we shouldn't? Yeah, I'd call them out. Yeah, yeah I'd call them out. Here, let me give you this. Scan yeah, that. No one disagrees, eh? Like, no one's trying to change my mind on it. They just must all accept veganism and animal rights immediately encoded into UK law. And just as the abolishment of slavery began here, the abolishment of uh, animal slavery will begin here too. Seems like we've got every, everyone's vote on our side, which is good. Hey, bro. I've seen you online. Have you? Yeah, nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. You're a vegan? No, I'm Why not? not vegan. Do you agree with the sign? What do you think animals deserve rights? I think the way they're treated is not right, but me personally, I haven't been born into being a vegan, so I'm just used to eating meat. Oh, yeah, no, no, it's a different topic to what, what you personally do. Come and sit down. Yeah. <clears throat> so the question is, do animals deserve human rights? Do you know, like, a little bit about human rights? Like, yeah. the reason I can't kill you right now is because you've got human rights? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what will happen to me if I kill you? Well, it's not going to be good I'll for go you, to jail, yeah. I? I'll go to jail, prison <laughs> yeah. forever. And, like, if I, like, if I enslaved you, took yeah. away your liberty against your will, yeah. and used you for my own benefit, like I would also go to prison because yeah. you, you're, you're protected under the Human Rights Act, yeah? Yeah. You're saying they should treat animals better. Yeah. Like some I kind of welfare reform. Well, I don't know. It's, like, it's one of those things. It's like, I wouldn't, me personally, I couldn't go vegan, but yeah, I feel yeah. like the animals should be treated better still. Yeah, so when you say treated better, what do you mean? Um, like in the factories and stuff. Or the, in the factory farms? Yeah, the factory farms. Yeah. yeah. So do you think uh, it's okay if we try to treat them better? to kill them and eat them? Because that would that would violate their rights then. That's it? true, yeah, yeah. I mean, one of those things, it's like, we're never gonna be able to convert everyone, I don't think. You're never gonna stop people from murdering and enslaving people, right? Which is why yeah. we have human rights laws. Yeah. We have human rights protecting us from people who just can't be reasoned with. Yeah. Or that they, they just don't care and they will just, they will kill you, rob you, they will rape, there's people out there like that, so we need laws protecting humans, right? Yeah. Now, if there, there were people being enslaved, would you, would you say, uh, whip the slaves less or treat them a little better, but um, we'll still we'll still decapitate them and eat them in a burger, but just treat them a little better? Or would you say, don't enslave them, don't kill them, they deserve rights? That is true, actually, yeah. I see yeah. what you mean. Yeah. I never thought of it that way, to be honest. What do, do us and animals have in common, do you think? Both have feelings. You can both... Oh, they're both... Yeah. Uh, what's that word? Sentient? That's the one, yeah. Conscious? Yeah. yeah, conscious. I reckon they still form relationships between themselves, if yeah. you know what I mean. So if I boot a dog, what is that like for the dog? Do they experience that? Are they going to scream? And, they, and, and, yeah. When you're standing on your dog's tail by mistake or whatever, when you're walking around the house yeah. or the foot or something, they scream because they can feel it. Yeah, so what so, happens to the dog matters to the dog, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly, yeah. It doesn't necessarily matter to you. No. And what happens to you when you leave here doesn't necessarily matter to me no, if no. I don't know about it. It matters to you, which is why you deserve rights and why yeah. the dog also deserves a right not to be, you know, booted. Yeah. But again, they also deserve a right not to have the head cut off for a burger, right? Yeah. So I'm just asking for that for, for animals as well. I mean, I never thought of it that way, to be honest. Yeah. Um, it's opened me up a bit, so I think it's one step at a time with people. Like, going from someone like me that's eating meat their whole life straight into being a vegan, that's a big jump, if you know what I mean. Like, every day, uh, not even every day you're eating, like, a burger or whatever, but, like, yeah. every few days you're having that, it's like, it's just part of your diet, really. Do you agree animals should have rights? Yeah, I okay. think they should, yeah. So if they did have rights, you wouldn't be able to eat them anymore? No, but what, what about, instead of going all the way to vegan, what about halfway and vegetarian? So, do you yeah. know much about the egg and dairy industries, or...? Well, I assume the animals aren't dying to give the eggs, are they? They don't die, they get slaughtered. I can give you a really, really yeah, quick, yeah. like, explanation. So there's these hatcheries, they come from parent breeder sheds, and they're the mums and dads of the hens that will lay the eggs. So you get yeah. eggs, they hatch in a hatchery. The boys don't lay eggs, so yeah. they're useless. They're not for the egg industry, they don't want them. So they put them in, either in a blender or in a gas chamber and kill them straight away on their first day of life. The females will go out to the farms, they'll be grown, and then they'll lay eggs, and they lay, like, uh, more eggs than they naturally would because they've been selectively bred to. So they're pushing out an egg a day, yeah. put strain on their bodies, you, they start losing feathers, and you see them dying on their faces in these sheds, and free range is the same, it's just a big shed filled with birds. Yeah. And uh, when they're not producing enough eggs for the farmer at some point, but usually about 18 months, they send them all to the slaughterhouse to be decapitated, chopped up into pieces, processed into processed meats or, or pet food, and the same with the dairy industry. Why do cows produce milk? Well, it's only for our own benefit. Uh, no, no, why do, why do they, yeah, why do yeah, they naturally... For their babies and stuff, yeah, isn't yeah. it? So the in order for them yeah. to produce milk, they will obviously have to 
yeah. have had a baby, yeah? Yeah. Because humans don't produce milk without having a yeah, baby. Yeah. So they need to be impregnated. The farmers forcibly impregnate them. Yeah. They jack off bulls, actually, to get the semen out of the bull. Yeah. Or they use this big, like, dildo thing they put in the bull's ass and they oh, electrocute <laughs> them to get ejaculate yeah. out of them. They take the semen and they stick their whole arm inside the ass of a cow to hold the cervix, and then they stick a pipette full of semen into a cervix. They have yeah. a baby. They take the baby away straight away because they want the milk for us. Yeah. She suffers a lot. They, they can get lame, they can get limping, they can go down. But then they send her to a slaughterhouse for burgers as well. So those yeah. industries still violate, massive violation of animal rights. Yeah. If you believe they should have rights. I think they should. If, they, if there were humans in place of the animals in that case, let's just say they had around the same intelligence and sentience as these animals and they were actually humans. There are humans that are born this way. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't want that to happen to human beings in order to get eggs in milk, would you? No, no, definitely yeah. not. You would be consistent, you would say, I think that shouldn't happen to humans, but also for the same reasons it shouldn't yeah. happen to, to animals, yeah? Yeah. So I think it just gets brushed over everyone's heads, really. Like, if, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's not enough about it. You like, didn't know about it, eh? you've, only, you've only just educated me on it, but if yeah. I didn't sit down today, I could go months and months or years, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't realise. But why you don't you know? About your, it's just not out there. The, the information is not out there. And why? About. I'm not... What do you think? Why do you think they don't tell you what I just told you? Because they don't want you to know. Because then it puts them out of business. Like all the farms and... Exactly. So, it just so it's a business. Out there. It is a business. Yeah. It's not providing you with food like some humanitarian effort. No. It's you buy the eggs and yeah. make money. Where do the animals' rights come into this? For the farmer. They don't, do they? They, yeah. don't, they don't have any rights. If you're a resource to me and I'm selling your body for yeah. my benefit, where do your rights come into the equation for me? It's all about this. Yeah. You give them that money. Yeah. Would you give me money if I was enslaving people and decapitating them? No, no, no one. What about for a burger? No. Well, that's what if the it other tastes thing? really good? What if it tastes better than a beef burger? Yeah. And you just really like the taste. Would you Would you do it? No. I what don't if it was think a little so. harder? What if it was a little inconvenient? And I was the yeah. most convenient source of these amazing burgers, like, and they were heaps cheaper. Would you do it? Would you give me the money? Because you're keeping me in business. No. I, just, I think people just need to be educated on it. Imagine. You know how you're on like the front of like smoking packets, you've got the like lungs and stuff, awful images, but for, like your farm food or anything like that, pigs, eggs, anything, it's just a chicken in a field or really? a cow in like a grass field. Yeah. They don't show yeah. where it actually is. So they, it's like the meat tricks. They yeah. show you what they want you to see. Yeah. It's... But behind that, that labeling is something a lot more horrific. Yeah. But let's just say they were on grass. I had a bunch of happy animals and they're all loving their life. Yeah. And then I took them to a slaughterhouse and sliced their head off to eat their body. Do you think that that would be a good thing to do? A justified thing to do? No, definitely not. No. Just for like a, I'm talking about, because I want a sandwich that has chicken in it. Oh, I just want one. Is that all right? Yeah. No, I don't yeah. think so. So when you go away, right. you've got decisions to make, don't you really? Yeah. Because now you know kind of thing. Before you didn't know, so you're kind of like just moving uh, through life. Yeah, I mean, I think it, if you stop most people on the road, they're not going to know about, yeah. like, I think a lot of them are educated about everything that's going on. Let's Maybe. just say if everyone does something right, let's just say yeah. these people just keep eating meat. Now you know. Like, let's just say no one knew that I had these people in my, in my basement, but you did, yeah. right? And all these people here kept buying off of me, but you knew. Do you think it's okay to keep buying off me just because uh, everyone else is? No, definitely not. You yeah. would, you'd stop. Yeah. It's different when you don't know, I yeah. think. Yeah, because you, you, you have less moral responsibility, don't you? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Do you know much about being vegan? Not too much. I know it's like, there's a lot. It's harder to, I feel like it's harder to actually find, like there's only set, select vegan restaurants and... Maybe you don't have to go to full vegan restaurants. Like you can go, so Bella Italia there, they sell meat, but they've got a vegan option. Yeah. So when you buy that vegan option, you take that off the shelf, they replace it with more vegan food down the supply chain. Yeah. But when you buy meat, they slaughter animals and replace it from, from factory farms and slaughterhouses, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's about the, the, creating the demand for what you know, the impact you want to make. So, yeah. you know, the amount of animals that will die or be slaughtered, have their rights violated for you over your life, yeah. is quite big actually. It's like in the thousands. Yeah. But when you, when you choose vegan food, you're making sure that doesn't happen on your behalf. You know what I mean? Here, let me give you this, man. I've been vegan 10 years, eh? Yeah? Yeah, 10 years. I think I've seen it on like TikTok or YouTube. Yeah, 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 I've got TikTok, what? YouTube, face, Facebook, Instagram. I went vegan when I got out of prison in uh, 2013. Yeah. November 1st, 2013, and I've been, yeah, I'm coming up to my 10 year anniversary. Scan that with your phone. This is what I tell people, man. Any supermarket you can get vegan stuff in, right? This app here, right? It'll tell you where vegan options, so you go 
full vegan, full vegan restaurant or vegan options. And you say, hey man, I'm on Happy Cow, so you got a vegan option here. And Subway, McDonald's, um, Burger King all have vegan burgers in there, vegan yeah, options. They got, like, the McClanching, so yeah. I've seen that, yeah. Beyond Burger? Yeah. But you know now. I know, I know. And you agree animals deserve rights. So when yeah, you, 100%. now when you do things that directly violate their, their right to lie, you've got more culpability. And How old are you? 20. 20? Yeah. Well, wow. wish I knew this when I was 20, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I was a violent dude. I was drinking drugs, punching people, yeah. fighting violence, end up in prison. But when I got out, I was just like, what am I doing, man? I'm a hypocrite. I've so become sober and I realized what I was doing. Yeah. Stop hurting people and I stopped hurting animals. And that was, that was yeah. my path. It's just getting out there though, isn't it? The story. Yeah. Like... Now what I do is I get it out to people. Yeah. And my oh, impact that's... is mag yeah. magnified. Yeah. Yeah. And that can be you. That's you right. can do it. You can do a lot of good. You, yeah. can, you can show a lot of people. There's a documentary called uh, Land of Hope and Glory. It's in this card here when you scan it. Yeah. And it shows you yeah, everything that happens to animals for eggs, milk, uh, bacon, all these industries in the UK. It's all UK footage. And, um, and investigators go in there, leave secret cameras and watch the farmers at what they do when no one's watching. Really? So you'll be able to see for yourself. And yeah. It's the most disgusting I've ever seen in my entire life, bro. Yeah. It's, it's the worst and, and then you'll see how much they lie to you. Yeah. Like how much you've been lied to. I'll have to look into it. I'll scan it up later. Thank you. On your own. What was your name? Uh, Rory. Rory, good to meet you, Rory. Yeah, good to meet you too. Take care, mate. Thank you. See you later.